And we're back. Denise and Morgan Evans with us on this Monday. The Red River Dance Theater Company about to do The Nutcracker. It returns after Thanksgiving on Saturday and Sunday. It's become a uh, central Louisiana tradition, kind of a kickoff to the holiday season. Yeah, y'all were trying to figure out how long this has been going yeah, on. Yeah, all of my kids did it. Yeah. And I love when I run into parents or grandparents and they they you start talking about the Nutcracker and they're like, mm -hmm. oh, it's a family tradition. We go every year. Yeah. And my mom used to take us. Now we take our children. Mm -hmm. and Isn't that wonderful? It so is. many children have been involved in it, and so many parents have been involved in it, too. Yes. And Morgan's looking and saying, yes, I have yeah. been involved. How, long, how many years have you been involved in the Nutcracker? Uh, about eight. It's been eight years for you. <laughs> yes, ma'am. But this year you're kind of a helper, a volunteer. You're yes, just going to make sure everything kind of flows the way it's supposed to flow. Bringing in all that expertise. <laughs> yes. Okay, the professional dancers you have coming in uh, we this do. year they're from coming, North Carolina? They're right? coming in from North Carolina. Mm -hmm. They'll be in on Friday and they'll do our run through with us and our final dress rehearsal and then mm -hmm. they'll be performing um, all day. We have a school performance on the Monday as well. So okay. they perform oh, okay. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Uh, and a new artistic director, somebody coming in who will, uh, who is, who's we do. New Sarah Oaks out of Lafayette mm -hmm. has been with us this fall. Okay. And new choreography. We've changed around some costumes, brought out some old costumes we haven't used in a while. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of a different look right. to our traditional same Nutcracker story. And it is a traditional Nutcracker story. It is. And we have so many children this year. Um, we have male and female dancers. Mm -hmm. We have about 55 kids that are participating this year. So 55 kids, probably about 200 costumes. Mm -hmm. So it's a big production. Oh, it is. And, and Morgan, looking back, what were some of your favorite memories of doing the Nutcracker? Um, I'd have to say when we get to this stage, everyone's just so excited to mm -hmm. finally be there and like the show's up soon. And so yeah. we just get super excited. Enjoying the, doing the show, you really enjoy yeah. that part the most. Huh? Well, that's so much preparation. How long have y'all been preparing for the Nutcracker? We started the weekend after Labor Day, mm -hmm. and we've actually had a few days off and here and there. So it's been nice having a few days and <laughs> a few I'm days. I'm sure practice a can get days. tedious, huh, Morgan? <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> long hours. Yep. A lot of yep. long hours. What's a typical schedule for y'all? Well, it could be anywhere. Now, not that the kids would be there all day, mm -hmm. but you know, it could be a 10-hour day for the volunteers you know we're driven off of volunteers right um so we could be there get it there at eight o'clock in the morning and we could be leaving at six mm -hmm. but you know the dancers are kind of in and out most of them do not have to stay a long day but it is a huge commitment on their part and they do sacrifice you know sure do. this you know it kind of comes first yeah. <laughs> you have to, because if you miss the choreography, then you're going to be behind. And right. And you have to put a lot of time and effort into it. You do. You do. Best way to get tickets. Um, People, they can, I'm sure, are going to be looking for tickets. They can go to our website mm -hmm. at redriverdance.org, and they can purchase there, and we'll also have tickets available at the door on both days on the performance. Saturday night, it's at 7, and Sunday is an afternoon performance. It is at 2. At 2? Yeah, and we'll open the doors an hour before, mm -hmm. and then the house doors will open 30 minutes and before. And you usually pack the door, but you usually pack the room, don't you? We're usually pretty close to being sold out, so right. if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, go ahead and get them, because it's going to be a great show. The uh, the venue, Coughlin Saunders, is that a good venue for the, uh, it the show? It is awesome. I mean, there's plenty of room on the stage, yeah. and it's such a nice facility to hold our our production every year. It holds, it can hold up to what, 600? 615. Is it, six, oh, excuse me, 615. <laughs> you gotta get the 15, she you got the number the down, Mark. Number. 615, okay. Yeah, you have to have the numbers. Um, okay. Yes, yeah, so, but no, we usually do get close to selling out, mm -hmm. and it just gets, and the bigger the crowd is, the, the dancers just feed off that enthusiasm, and it just makes a huge impact on them. All right, Denise Morgan, thanks for coming. Go, check out the Nutcracker, get into the holiday spirit. Thank Saturday you. and Sunday. And thank y'all so much for joining us this morning. Good day, Sinlaw. Thank you. Thank you. More to come. Rodney Jones will join us in just a second, so stay right here.